Boom, what up, Silver Neck and only here back doing some more League of Legends action. Playing some team bow up in the top lane. We're going for a grass build. We're gonna get Leandry's Frozen Mallet at Wits End. Leandry's obviously a really good item on Teemo in general. Uh, but then it's also gonna get doubled the damage. Well, it's gonna go from 1.5% to this is strange. It's gonna go from 1.5% to 2.5% uh damage over time. So per second, so it'll be 7.5% damage once we have the slow. And then we'll follow up with the wits end. And it's like a grass build. This can be like definitely a tankier style. We shall see. Uh they're gonna go start top side. Gotta be a little careful here. Oh, okay. Took E first. That's different. I'm just nervous that his jungle's gonna come here. I should pop potion. Is he only gonna trade around his shield? That'd be kinda smart. Playing quite safe. Do we get these? Shove the wave in. All right, cool. So we got Q, W, and E. W is an, a movement speed increase. If we haven't gotten hit in the last, like, I think it's five seconds. Yeah, if we haven't gotten lit, hit in the last five seconds by an enemy champion or tower, we get a passive movement speed increase, and then it's doubled when we activate it. Those are great hits right there. I want to be using these grass procs as much as I can. I try and zone them off a little bit. I don't understand why the minions keep switching to me. It's kind of annoying. Uh, Q is a blind. And then our auto applies extra damage with our E. E is a damage over time effect. That's an on hit component and damage over time effect. So when it hits you originally, it does like bonus damage. Plus your auto attack. So 17 bonus damage plus my auto attack. And then over time it does additional damage. Uh, e is the thing that you max first. Max E, max Q. Could max W second in this matchup. Or uh, with this build. Wouldn't be terrible. This guy plays so safe, brother. You have no farm. It's 7 to 24. Like, what? I've essentially killed you. Hey, one auto. Grass pit. Get in the bush because minions are going to focus me. Deny the damage. The jungle is in bot side, so I can get very, very aggressive. Not that he's going to allow me to. This guy's fine missing all of his farm. <laughs> it's very strange. We blinded him. Get all in here. Not even close, boys. Not even close. Definitely should have popped my potion, but hey. Uh, we actually just have to leave. He's going to teleport back and then use his E. I always get caught here being stupid. So let's just leave. There's too many minions for him to hold. The wave's going to crash in the tower, so same effect. 29 to 7, but he's going to catch all these. We'll see what it is. Ooh. Uh, I actually might just go boots here. Get a pink ward, wait, and get one more potion. Ooh, double kill. Noise. W back to lane a little faster. Sweet. So what's he got? 15 to 29. So we're still at double CS. That's what I mean. Like, uh, like It's hard to give up that much farm. And the, like, the way he did it... He would have been better off baiting me into fighting him early, pop a potion. Me hitting him would have caused the minions to target me. If the minions would target me, they're not hitting my minions, so it's going to push the wave. I feel like this is a kill. I might just be passive until I get my level 6. Stay close by, but don't get all in. I get level 6 off the next minion, I believe. Alright, he doesn't want to help. That's fine. Nah, that's probably a fine call. He has so much to farm right now. Ooh, they got dragon. That's not good. I just wanted to clear some of these waves. That's why I threw the shroom there. Shrooms in this build are still going to do a decent amount of damage because of the Andrews. Oh, 
Walk forward just to get that grass pit. Pop potion here. Do I miss both those? That sucks. Please? Yeah, I think I missed this one. Ooh, good timing. Uh, anytime you go stealth, you get an increased attack speed. So we can kind of abuse that. Gotcha, bitch. Aha! Trim down. Push the wave out. Noise. One more auto and then try Q. Nice. He has no teleport this time. Jungle could come, but... His jungle could come. Let's be a little safe. We could definitely, definitely have shoved this in. But if his jungle shows up, I just simply die. I don't have an answer. So let's not do that. Noise, rope 20 CS, you got double Doran's blade. Not that the first one was bad, but the, well, the second one's not bad. I mean, it's fine. I think maybe he should have went Doran's plus uh, Doran's shield or Doran's blade plus Doran's shield. <clears throat> Cause I'm poking him a bunch. It would be pretty useful. Like he does get obviously the, the attack damage. They're very good. If you could only buy like one item or sorry, if you had unlimited item slots, people would buy a lot more Doran's blades and Doran's shields and all that shit. Mainly Doran's Blades because of how they stack. I'm going to do this and then throw a Shroom in front of it. I want to put one right here on the corner. Auto attack. Get in combat for Grasp. Mm, I'm just going to kind of hold the wave outside my tower. I want to keep it on my side of the map. Definitely makes me a lot safer. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, he's definitely dead. I can't even go. He either gets saved by mid lane or he dies. There's really no in between. He has no ultimate, so he can't get away from those people. If he had ult, he gets stealth and, and all that. Maybe get out, but... No ultimate R.A.P. Um, guy's just sitting in mid lane. Just gonna try and push this wave. Try and deny some farm up here. Sweet, we can get a ward down. Gonna go. Tr oh, I'm gonna miss a plate, aren't I? I was gonna try and get that plate or uh, the plant. Get some good damage on him. Oh boy. Just gotta identify who's the uh, weaker target right there, and it's definitely the guy I got at half HP that doesn't have a 20% health shield. <laughs> this guy's passive is very good. Smart play right there, you see that? Uh, you definitely kill him, bro. Oh, don't jump! Ah, don't jump there, bro, it's so bad. The reason jumping's bad there is because he can't get away. Like, how does this guy get out? He has to run here, right? I'm standing here and he has to run here. What does that mean? He has to run through me. Why am I going to use my gap closer at him? And then he can use his away from me. And now I don't have a gap closer anymore. Whereas if I just walk at him, I hit him, he uses his flash, I use my jump. Ooh, good dodge. <clears throat> Very good dodge. Uh, I try and hold this outside tower. I got to trim the melees a little bit. Auto Q. Oh man, if I saw that, oof. Ah, oh, and the wave goes under tower. I'm actually pretty sad. I can pull this back and get a freeze though. I just have to pull it back far enough. And a freeze. Three at this point in the wave will push. Three at this point in the wave will not push. Or sorry, will freeze. I mean, this side would push and I would hold the freeze. That's how it works. Enemy double kill, oof. Not too bad. Um, I could try and shove this wave too, just so I can get my item. 
like I said, it's a freeze. Magic rule is four additional minions. We got five here. Trying to bait him into using W. Noise. Grass proc. Auto Q. I shouldn't hit that. Another grass proc. I will let this crash under. I don't want to hold. Sweet. I don't want to hold the cannon minion. Auto Q. Ooh, never want to sit with three. I might just hard chub this wave and look to reset. I don't know where he went. And I don't really want to find out. <laughs> I just want to leave. Go get this item real quick. Start working on my frozen mallet next. After that, we'll get wits end too. So to give us a nice little defensive route. Oh, you went over here. Okay. I should just rush that. Nice. Very good. We'll take that all day. <clears throat> so tank wise, right now we have Leandry's 300 health. Uh, next, we're gonna get this, which can give us 700 health. So between the two items, we'll have a thousand. And then uh, obviously the movement speed slow is gonna help us kite people out. It's also gonna increase the uh, damage over here. Because when targets are movement impaired, it does 2.5 damage per second, percent of max HP. So 7.5% of max HP total versus uh, 1.5, which would be 4.5%. It's so a little bit more, pretty good. I am nervous about jungle. Coming top. Oh, nope, he's in mid. Big trade right there. That was really good for us. We threw the shroom right in the middle of the wave. So if he tried to run at me, he would get hit by the shroom. He tried to run at me, he got hit by the shroom. <laughs> Pretty good. And after that, we kind of win the trade. Especially when you add in blind, preventing auto attacks. Sweet. Get some plate action. I've demolished, so I take plates decently fast. My demolish proc isn't bad either because we have a ton of HP and we're going to even get more. I only got one, unfortunately. Oh, whoops. All right, good. I didn't take a tower shot. Uh, I'm going to try and get away without using a shroom. I want to hold it in my inventory. Well, oh, that's scary. I just used blind. Grass proc. Walk here, ward. I'm gonna ping for assistance. Might be able to make a play on this guy. That's really good. I bet I could have killed him by flash auto ignited. Kind of played that a little too safe, huh? Damn, I do so much damage. What the hell? Chemo, chemo. I mean, it's not that unusual of a build at this point. It's still pretty reasonable. No! Why would that minion run into it? That's so annoying. I blinded him. He's dead. Oh, that's so lame. Yeah, it's a little disappointing. A random minion decided to, instead of running this way, it went around this tower and ran into my shroom. That would have been a lot of additional damage. Throw this in the middle. I believe he does have TP this time. I want to get out of here quickly. Sweet! Let's back. Let's get these components. Could go for boot upgrade here too. But I think I'll just do this. I. Ooh, that might be a nice play. Look where Thresh is. Oh, no, I'll go this way. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I always get in this weird spot where I'm not like, oh, do I go this way? And then he ends up running away and you don't catch him. Or you go this way and then he, like, all ends your dude under tower and you're late. Needs help. He does not need help. <laughs> Fresh OP. Uh, is this guy holding the wave? He's trying to, yeah. 
So in order, in order to be up here, uh, okay, never mind. We know where everybody is. I was going to say, we need a lot of vision control and a lot of shrooms down to prevent ourselves from dying. But we know where everybody is. We just saw, uh, what's it called? Fizz appear on the map. Oh yeah, 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 you're right. He just used it. True. We just saw uh, Fizz appear on the map and we also saw their jungler activate the Rift Herald right here. Try and throw a shroom down just to shove this wave quicker. Hit shroom took on the side. Stealth it up. See what we can get. Who is trying to surrender, bro? Chill the fuck out. Oh my god. The ADC, bro. They're all literally mental. You're playing a champion that scales ridiculously hard into the game. Why are you trying to quit? The fuck? Goodbye, crew world. Yeah, it's not really a way out. Once I, once he wards here and runs this way instead of into my shroom setup, I could have like moved against this wall, like moved toward this way as I kite out, because then he would have to bolt me here. But I'm still dying to Hecarim, so. It don't matter. Take that, punk! That shroom damage is legit. Walking on this one, you won't. You won't. Do it. Do it! Please? Please? <laughs> hey, There we go. We're in the wave without even being there. Big brain. Let's get a pink board. Pop the W. Run back to lane. Sweet. NA memory? I mean, bruh. You try recording a commentary and talking the entire time, trying to be informative. Some things are gonna, you're gonna forget. Like, alright, I forgot that he had TP, that he used TP. Oops. Shove this in. Uh... Ooh, self ult. I think he still does. I just push here, go clear that ward. That's over here. Shroom, shroom, and then shroom like here. Sweet, so clear wave first. Noise? I actually might be able to get tower. Hmm. It's gonna be kinda close. Nah, I don't wanna tank that. Not worth. Not worth. I'm gonna go help over here. Grab this plant for some manas. Oh shit! Good time, dude. I didn't realize how close it was. The heck are you doing? Aha! They still walked into it anyways. Goofballs. <laughs> they literally swept it and then they still walked into it. <laughs> Imagine. Alright. Uh, next time it's gonna be wits. Is this guy just like running it down at this point? That's cool. I got one. Uh, I'm going for my wits next. Maybe I grab Tabby as well. I think I'll be like super tonky if I go like Tabby. Then go into my wits after. Take that. Oh, if this minion dies, I actually get enough gold. Yeah. Now we get enough gold. Sweet. Uh, I mean, I really want to just split and hopefully my team doesn't keep feeding like this. But Vayne's kind of just like running it down. I don't really know why he's losing his mind. That's just like two times in a row. He's like overextending into his death. Doesn't really make any sense, but hey. Let's see what he does this time. <laughs> oh, he did. Alright. Oh, nope. I was going to say, oh, he's waiting for the wave at least. 
<laughs> he just starts running forward. Alright. Let's go get that wave in the top. I really just want to keep uh, splitting. I don't necessarily want to group too much. Teemo's not terrible uh, grouped up, but splitting is very good for him, especially when I can't be 1v1'd. I am overextending a little bit when my team's not in a position to do much, which is kind of bad. Like, if my team, you know, could have uh, done Dragon right there, that would have been better. If they were taking a tower, you know, if I'm drawing pressure while my team's doing something, it's fine. But right there, I drew pressure while everybody's, like, dead, so it was really stupid. Doesn't accomplish anything. I just die. The enemy doesn't lose anything for sending people at me. Like, right now, they need to not fight until I get pressure. But they're kind of just, like, all inning all the time. I can kind of move there, but I don't think I'm fast enough to get there in time. I think I just take this. Stop fighting! It would be so helpful. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I just have to start grouping with my team. Not because it's the right play, but because they're stupid. <laughs> Sadly, sometimes that happens. Like, the best way for us is easily for me to split since nobody can 1v1 me. If I can't be 1v1, that means we can just split all day. They have to send multiple people to deal with me. If they send multiple people to deal with me, with me, then we get a numbers advantage on the other side of the map that hopefully my team can capitalize on. Or I could still outplay the 1v2 because I'm ahead of the 1. But I don't know, man. Sometimes splitting is really hard because people just lose their fucking minds. Like this guy went from 4 and 1 to 4 and 5. Maybe you should stop trying to like push against a Fizz team that just jumps on you every time. I don't know. Alright, but yeah, I'm gonna go group. Because I have no faith in my team's ability to chillax. They play too aggro. It's not even that, it's just that, like their positioning just forces these type of events. Cool with that. Um, I, I can go top and beat this guy up, but super close to my item finish. Do we just have to like follow the vein around? Probably. Awkward. Oh man, this guy's just not very intelligent. Literally one person ruining the game for everybody. Oof. Time to go. Yeah, bro, they have ultimates. So maybe play like they have those. You've identified what they're killing you with. Guess what? They're gonna have them back up when you're alive, my man. So maybe you should play around that. Maybe you shouldn't put yourself in a position where they can hit the Hecram R, where they can hit the Fizz ultimate. Like, I wanna take this from him, but like I feel like he'll literally rage quit the game. All right, let's run over here. Look at you're gonna run at three people, bro. Use your fucking brain. You're not front line. My goodness. It's so tilting because I'm literally just supposed to be splitting, but this guy can't like chill for two seconds. Yeah, 
Hey, he's got his Rage Blade. Maybe he takes the game seriously now. I got my wits. I'm very strong. Trying to get some shroom coverage going on. I agree, dude. I think we should be splitting the whole time, but... They're all, like, right here. They just walk mid. This is really good, because they're gonna get funneled into me. Now we gotta bail on that. It's good. We can actually help this guy. Nice. We did it, guys! We did it! Yay! <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Let me go get that uh, dragon after. Nah, you should go get dragon. I don't think you're gonna be able to push me. Uh, maybe. I'd just be worried about all them. Me you know which one Vayne's gonna do. <laughs> Run it down, baby! He might be able to get that. But I don't think I'll get in Hib. Like, they're all alive. You need to leave. Alright, cool. As long as he leaves, we're good with that. Because Camille's got the TP. Nice. Alright, reset. Alright, reset. <laughs> um, there you go, Nashers. That's a really good follow up here. CDR, additional attack speed. More attack speed equals more E hits. More refreshes, more hits of the uh, Wits End as well. Wits End is doing like 80 damage right now. Noise. Let's go, baby. Ooh, it's actually pretty good. They're kind of out of position. Want to get wards or shrooms down on the side? And I'll throw one behind us too. To keep getting shrooms out here. Walk away from that. Oh, damn. You can just walk away. That fear lasted so long, holy moly. That blind in a second. No shield, you can just jump on him. Yeah, that's what I mean. He had no shield. Uh, we can't end the game, bro. You have teleport ready, like after they come alive. Like, what? This guy's gonna be up. Huh? I got so many shrooms down. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, let's throw another one over here. Might as well shove bot lane out too. I have item in base. Bro, look how many shrooms I have in mid lane. Oh my god. I know, dog. Why are you pinging me? I'm one of the few people on the team with the brain. Alright, let's get out of here. So many shrooms. Alright, we got this. 
Uh, I might just follow it up with a rage blade at this point. I like the idea. Let's go. Hit the shroom. Oh, bro. Come on. Ooh, nice hook. That works. That's fine. No one can follow up and Camille can't kill anybody. By herself. As long as there's no follow up, we're good. Bro, look at this shroom. Just chilling. Please walk into me. Should be able to just run down mid and end. I killed two people right there. There's only one tower left. Bro, we have 3,500 health right now. <laughs> Pretty good. Gotcha, bitch. Easy peasy. Yeah, our damage is actually very, very good, and we're like pretty damn tanky. I'll take it. I'll take it. I will take it. GG. Not the bad. T mo T mo T mo. Hmm. Definitely gonna give it to Thresh. He played it well. Hit some nice hooks. Ooh. Got this account promoted to Platinum 1, Pog Champ. Imagine troll builds a diamond. <laughs> Where I'm literally hard stuck on my main account. <laughs> but I can do troll builds all the way up there. What sense does that make? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Alright. I'll take it though. GG well played. Decent damage. Pretty good. Very tanky. It would be easier. Uh, my opponent honestly did not let me get grass procs on her at all. Like She played super passive in the early game. Except when she tried to all in me and died. Like I don't know. Played passive, played passive, played passive, got really tilted and annoyed at it, played aggressive, died. That was like the repetitive thing that happened in lane. But hey, I'll take it, man. Uh, yeah, this is the build here. Pretty tanky, bone plating, obviously overgrowth for extra health, and then grasp, extra health plus healing, uh, alacrity, and I took 10% attack speed in the small runes as well. That's how we get the attack speed in the early game, so it's not that painful having these two as our first build. Because normally you rush like a Nash's Tooth in the standard build in this champion, right? Or if you're doing like a Rage Blade build, attack damage build. Uh, like your first item generally has attack speed so getting alacrity plus the attack speed rune helps deal with the lack of attack speed until third item and then we're just following it up with Nash's Tooth like Rage Blade at the very end here but yeah anyways GG well, well played I hope you guys enjoyed that one if you're watching on YouTube make sure to like the video subscribe for more content like this if you're watching over on live stream make sure to follow the live stream I stream every single day 6am and 12 noon EST also check out my other two YouTube channels Astro Highlights and Astro League University and drop a like on all that stuff too. Anyways, GG Well Played. Thanks for watching. Make sure to tune in next time. Peace.